I went into the briefing believing it was uh, virtually impossible for an operation like this to be carried out without the Crown Prince's knowledge. Uh, I left the briefing with high confidence that my initial assessment of the situation is correct. So here's my takeaway. Um, that Saudi Arabia is a strategic ally and the relationship is worth saving, but not at all cost. We'll do more damage to our standing in the world and our national security by ignoring MBS than dealing with him. Uh, MBS, the crown prince, is a wrecking ball. I think he's complicit in the murder of Mr. Khashoggi to the highest level possible. I think the behavior before the Khashoggi murder was beyond disturbing, and I cannot see him being a reliable partner to the United States. Saudi Arabia and MBS are two different uh, entities. Uh, if the Saudi government is going to uh, be in the hands of this man uh, for a long time to come, I find it very difficult to be able to do business because I think he's crazy. I think he is dangerous and uh, he has put the relationship at risk. I will try to work my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to send a statement before the end of this Congress that in fact uh, the Crown Prince was complicit in the murder of Mr. Khashoggi, that during his tenure as Crown Prince he's put the region in chaos and has undercut the relationship and I cannot support arms sales uh, to Saudi Arabia as long as he's going to be in charge of this country. Uh, the war in Yemen has gotten out of control. The brutality of this murder is beyond uh, my sharing it with you. It was one of the most brutal acts one could imagine and it says a lot about him as a person and everybody is watching us. Are you still pushing the Menendez bill? Does that mean you will? Yeah, we're working on it. For the Sanders resolution? No. I think that's the wrong approach. What I want to do is uh, make a statement about the complicity of the Crown Prince that I think is supported overwhelmingly by the evidence. Then I want sanctions imposed, global Manitsky Act sanctions against those responsible. And I want to put uh, the world on notice that if you align yourself with the United States, you try to integrate your economy with ours, you try to do joint military operations, there's a certain expectation you have to meet. And one of those expectations is that you will not be involved in extrajudicial killing of a journalist in the most brutal fashion. And if we don't send that message, we're really uh, making the world a more dangerous place.